The biggest complaint you guys gave us over our Shadowlands Alpha and Beta coverage was you're not covering rogues enough. And that's because Blizzard didn't cover them either. So how strange it is then of all the specs, it's the rogues that got a brand new covenant spell. Let's have a look. Ahoy! We are in the Venthyr Sanctum. We are here in Sinfall because last week the rogues got a brand new covenant spell called flagellation and it's kind of ironic when i ever think of the word or hear the word flagellation which thankfully isn't that often uh, i often think of the da vinci code with the vision whipping himself into a bloody frenzy uh, and flagellation is the new spell that the rogues gained as the slaughter spell was removed kind of a weird thing going on with the rogues and i feel like blizzard has fallen into kind of the same rut they have with arms warriors and fury warriors for that matter and fire mages is that those specs are pretty good like they're roundly they're pretty solid their toolkit is vast and it works and adding more to them kind of takes them outside of their thematic wheelhouse and therefore they struggle to come up with new and interesting things if you think about the last like six expansions uh that have been around Think of what's been added to the rogue. Mostly it's been kind of the same spells, but more theatrical. Your death from above, your shadow vaults, you, you're, you're spinning around and throwing things, and shuriken storms and all that kind of stuff. Or they've basically just added debuffs like King's Bane, things like that, that kind of just work into the ordinary rotation of the rogue. Uh, because the way the rogue works at its base level is pretty good. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen something really new and fresh, like Killing Spree, uh, which was an awesome spell when it was added although many rogues uh, died to it now i know some of the more serious rogues out there will go no 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 no. we need x and y fixes and all this kind of stuff i get that now every spec is going to have every single thing you want and it's often the guys who are very dedicated to a certain class who get you find all these little niche niggly things but overall i would say the toolkit for the rogue is actually pretty good um it's kind of a shame that Outlaw didn't get the revamp it wanted. So, Slaughter was removed. And you might recall, during Covenant Wars, with me and Fingal, when we tested out Slaughter, uh, our problem was that Blizzard clearly, clearly did not know really what to add to the Rogues in terms of Covenant spells. So, we've got the Kyrian one, which is extremely clunky. Uh, it's very awkward to use in many scenarios. A lot of Rogues are trying to figure ways to make it work, especially as it's currently simming to be the best. Uh, they did have the Necrolord Bone Spike, which did absolutely humongous damage, uh, way above and beyond what it should have done for far too long. Blizzard have finally nerfed it down. And then they just decided to... F and we have the Night Fae ability, I should mention it, which is good, but it causes you all sorts of problems out in the open world. Uh, so, when it came to the Venthyr, they were already like, what do we give them here? What do we do? And I was kind of hoping for something more vampiric. Uh, Slaughter seemed to be that, but what they had literally done, guys, is take Deadly Poison and copy and paste it and call it Slaughter and make it red. Uh, that's all they had done. I'm not joking. The numbers were identical. Exa what it did was identical. Uh, let's get rid of this poison thing. And it was a problem because nobody was ever going to choose it. Like, if you had deadly poison already, like an assassin rogue, then why the hell would you take a covenant ability that's just deadly poison? I already have that ability. So it turned out they actually decided to change it. And they changed it for this spell, Flagellation. Now, unfortunately, it is a little disappointing. Many of you were contacting us saying, like, how does this feel? Because many of you still don't have beta, and you wanted to know, like, how does it pair up with the other rogue abilities? And so, let's have a little read of it. Uh, and we are going to come back to Covenant Wars, by the way, because they've changed, they've nerfed and buffed a lot of the Covenant spells, and kind of changed a couple of them how they rework, not to the severe stage they have done with the rogue here, but for those specs out there, and I thought this is why this is important to cover, for those specs out there that do have really terrible covenant spells which are a few there is a light in the darkness that came from here is that blizzard is willing to like go okay let's fix it although my gut feeling is this was always on the table because slaughter was a copy and paste of deadly poison ergo it was never going to last anyway so mm, i'm not i'm not 100 so we've got this new ability flagellation 20 energy you lash the target with anima flagellation of course is the act of whipping so we're doing some whips doesn't really fit with the rogue at all i know uh so you whip the anima three times so that means it puts three stacks on the target dealing some shadow damage they remain tormented for 45 seconds causing a lash for every combo point you spend dealing 63 shadow damage so let's take that first part obviously for seasoned rogues you will 
instantly see the kind of discrepancy that goes on here this is, this is the same for every covenant spell is they're trying to put spells in that work for all three specs regardless of if you're healer tank or whatever uh rogue specs kind of work the same it's combo points but they develop and use combo points in a very very different manner you can imagine assassination which is much slower in its usage of combo points takes a lot longer to get this thing going compared to say outlaw or sub that has combo points just raining from the sky all the time to the point that makes the kyrian ability much more difficult to use so obviously we've already got this kind of discrepancy with this ability once that target has been lashed at least 25 times reactivating flagellation cleanses their torment so it removes the stacks increasing your mastery by 10 percent for 25 seconds so you gain a mastery buff <laughs> it's it's one of the most disappointing ones what i will say for those of you who are performance minded is it seems with the crushing of the the bone spike uh all the rogue abilities are kind of weak source uh, at this point, they're not great, which means that for the most part, they're just a gain and you can kind of pick whatever covenant you want. It's not what we wanted to see. We'd rather have four cool spells, but, eh, you know, this is this is the world we live in. Um, so let's demonstrate how this works. So there's obviously another problem. Let's take that second part of the tooltip then. So once you activate this uh, spell, you debuff that, that target, okay? So it's like you've marked it for death. It's like you put Vendetta on that target. And if the target dies before you get to get the mastery buff, then tough shit uh that is the nature of the bus uh it just it basically for a lot of trash i've been running some dungeons with this today because i actually felt like playing the rogue because finn was going to choose it as his main i hadn't really touched it over the course of the alpha and beta so i definitely felt like playing the rogue over the weekend uh one thing i would note is enchanting and gemming your gear is kind of a big deal <laughs> it's kind of a big deal compared to the newbie starter gear i'm in i did make uh, a lego but it's not even the best one for sub i just made one for all three specs as i was going to be playing all three specs with flagellation to see the difference uh, it kind of makes a big difference. Anyway, um, going back to the second part of the tooltip then. So if the target dies, you don't get to do the s s removal cleansing. I was going to say suck off. The cleansing of the flagellation of the target. So basically flagellation for a lot of like low level dungeons. This will obviously work itself out in higher mythic plus. So you don't need to worry about that. And it works fine on bosses. Um, it's basically just an extra melee attack damage bonus uh this 65 shadow damage that you're doing on the uh target so once you're dpsing so as you're dpsing the target like this you can see we have flagellation here once we hit it you can see it puts charges on the boss you see there's three charges down here and then whenever we spend combo points so here's the important thing is whenever we spend combo points when i spend these five now you can see it jumps up to eight now you can see there's a delay you see that there's a little delay. So if I use Mark for Death here and use it there, you can see there's a little delay before it sort of like picks up on what it needs to do. Now, as long as you're DPSing away, it doesn't matter what you spend the combo points on, by the way. I just used it on Slice and Dice. It still works. It still adds them. So it's just spending of combo points that you need to be thinking about. So all we want to do is spend our combo points as we ordinarily would. We throw on a rupture. It's going to tick up. And in the next three combo points, we are going to see if I don't... I'm going really slow here, so perhaps it'll wear off. Oh, there it is. So you can see it's now lit up. Yeah, we have this lit up effect. That means I can cleanse it and get a mastery buff. I have the mastery buff for the next 30 seconds. That's the whole thing. So how does this play out in reality, regardless of what spec you play? Well, it's just a non-thing. You press it when it's on. It's off cooldown. So you can see it's coming back. I just wait. So the only real decision-making process you would have with this is, oh, I'm about to get flagellation, so I'm going to wait before I use something like Mark for Death or I spend combo points in order to start generating those stacks as quickly as possible. So there is some thinking involved, uh, which I think is fine. You get this little bit of element of thinking. But more than that, certainly I would say m this is most noticeable with Outlaw that has a lot of stuff going on. And in fact, Outlaw plays so fast, uh, certainly with certain Roll the Bones buffs, uh, on the uh, alpha, on the beta right now, which is based in the US, and I'm obviously based in Europe, uh, that it actually like oversteps how many points I could generate. And it is actually generates it so fast. But that's it. You're just pressing it. And you can utilize the mastery buff in some ways uh, if you're going to be mas more mastery focused. You can think about it. But for the most part, it's a very fire and forget spell um was it worth the wait i guess is the big question here no <laughs> not, not particularly uh it's a little bit of a shame it wasn't quite worth the wait uh but it is something you could do but it's fallen into that category as many of the covenant abilities have gone now 
which is it's something you press when it's off cooldown for the most part and you try and you, it's off the global cooldown that's quite nice it's off the global cooldown which means you can squeeze it in here or there uh, in order to get the maximum amount of benefit out of it but it's eh. i know some people were very excited about the prospect of oh they've made a brand new covenant spell it must be good uh not quite as you can see, I don't really think about it. This is something I've definitely turned down to uh, just add-ons to track for me. I just wait for it to flash. And it's like, oh, okay, I have the mastery buff now. So I might pair that with Vendetta, something along those lines. That's about the limit of my thinking with this. Now, is that a bad thing? Not necessarily. Uh, with the way a lot of the uh, Covenant spells or whatever have gone, this is actually like par for the course uh, in a very real way is to have these spells that have become a little bit fire and forget if i could say that a lot of the spells uh in a lot of different specs from like venthyr druid uh etc etc they're just spells that you kind of macro into your ordinary cooldowns this one you're not really going to macro but you are not going to think about it too much um it's it's not outstanding i mean you still get of course door of shadows uh which is very cool now i will say this though guys it doesn't have a conduit yet uh which might make it that little bit better the conduit might provide some extra utility for it obviously one of the problems blizzard has with introducing new covenant spells is the ripple effects we've talked about it in several videos is that one change here then changes over here it has this like butterfly effect throughout the system that conduits need to be changed now they need to bear in mind what the soul binds do with it and they're giving this regular buff so how does that work with that and then how, of course how do some of them play into the legendaries not saying this is an example of that but other covenant spells do is how they then interact with the legendary items associated with them so that's flagellation i wanted to cover this individually because we are going to be doing covenant wars again and we won't really have time during covenant wars to kind of look at a covenant spell this in depth but it is it's all right like it's exciting no i will say the most exciting part for me is it does give you this cool red effect on your weapons I think that's quite cool. It's nice. Will I notice it? Probably not on my little Vulpira that I made after they wiped all our characters. But uh, for the, I know some of you are probably already commenting like, Vulpira? Look, they just wiped all our characters. I'll make whatever I want. But the red effect is quite nice. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, in a melee grouping, certainly in a dungeon environment or in a raid environment, are you going to notice it? Uh, no. <laughs> no, you're not. Uh, but it is it is nice. Aesthetically, it is nice. You can see what's going on. Uh, so it does have that going for it, in my opinion. So there you go, guys. A little bit of flagellation for you. Never thought I'd be saying that today. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.